Oh, excuse me. Welcome on, welcome all to another stream in the Dreamiverse. Another itchy stream in the Dreamiverse. And the last time I was streaming, I was doing some music production and I was making a very bad, bad track, which I have actually um, no desire really to continue with. I might just delete it and move on. In fact, I have already moved on. Rather cheekily, let's see. Uh, right, let me just get Twitch up on the phone for any comments. Yada 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 yada. And then we should get to it. Macaration. So, um. Where's the one that I saved? <gasps> no. Okay. <clears throat> so I did save a version of this that pretty much had everything deleted, I think. Because I what I was doing was uh, normally when I'm using music software, I have templates that I've spent some time setting up, so no music, they're just things that I know that I'm going to use or need or want when I'm trying to do a particular type of music. And um, they're really handy because it saves you a lot of faff in the beginning. Um, so I was trying to do that in dreams um, oh no I've gone to view not edit I want to go to edit mode right so as we can see here I have pretty much done that so the track that I I, I had made is now gone it is nowhere to be seen <coughs> but what I have done is I have just made a timeline here you can see that I've called it DNB 174 BPM uh, what I plan on doing is what I used to do is when I save uh, timelines, I usually put the uh, the key in there as well, so I know what key I'm in at all times. Not that it matters too much in dreams because it kind of keeps you in key until you come out of it. Um, <clears throat> but it's because I don't have massively brilliant music theory. It was always handy for me to keep reminding myself what key I'm in, so I start familiarizing my familiarizing myself with notes. Unfortunately, I've just not done enough music production to have any idea what the fuck I'm doing. Um, I've created uh, a couple of microchips here. So this is coming out to create like a master tempo for anything that I would like to beat sync to. So I'm using wireless transmitters across the entire uh, transmitters and receivers across the entire scene and it literally is just that. So it's a BPM sync transmitter and it's called BPM sync. So it's nice and simple. And on this cube over here, which I've made in the center of everything, <coughs> don't know why I just like things to be nice and centered. So this is the the middle of the scene, snap bang in the middle. I've got myself a master microchip. This has got all my um, bits and bobs in. So I've got all my delays, all my reverbs, nice, quick and easy for me to get to. In fact, what I should do really is put this very near to my timeline. <clears throat> and um, what I'm going to quickly do is because I'm a bit pedantic like this I'm going to put the grid on grid snap align it to the grid like this and this is going to save its position there so that way hopefully every time I am always going to have this right near me. Right. So this has all the reverbs, all the delays. You can see here, so this is our reverb, I believe. No, it's delay. Um, that's weird. Okay. I would have said that's reverb and that's delay just by the little bits, but it doesn't matter. And here we have all my different channels. So I'm going to use these as buses. And if you don't know what bus is, Hey, hey Tap Jars, how we doing? 
upright mode is useful. Yeah, do you know what? I didn't even think of that to keep them, keep them nice and uh, tight, so I don't rotate them around and stuff. Dreams is so weird. It's, it's unlike anything else I've ever used before. Just the 3D space of it. Or uh, God knows what it's going to be like when they add VR and I try and do music production in VR. So um, I'm going to use these as bus channels. And if you don't know what a bus channel is, it's basically like an auxiliary channel that you would send stuff to and you would try and in a normal music sense you would add your own kind of effects to that bus channel and I don't think that's going to work too much in Dreams without constantly sending stuff to it. I'll, I'll give it a go and see how it works in in in, in practice. I, in theory I'm struggling to really understand how Dreams will work like that but also it's a kind of good way of just keeping everything separate and I like to send things so like this will be my uh, drums channel, this will be my bass channel this will be my like keys and pads and then vocals and then anything else in this one and there is another one as well that I can use um, which I've left out just so that I don't accidentally start sending stuff to it that I don't need to just in, th just in case I think shit I need a, like a spare channel for something going on in the scene uh, that leaves me a spare channel there uh, this is part of the BPM sync I've got my ghost kicks here which is nice and handy for side chaining and I've got a different selection of them. So, nice and simple, one on the first beat of every bar, two beats, four, eighths, and sixteenths. So, nice and simple. These don't output any audio whatsoever. You will not hear these, and they just repeat over and over and over. So, they're constantly playing while the track's playing. And if I want to use them, I can use the sidechain channels to create lovely, lovely sidechain compression. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm I'm thinking of setting up something, uh, something else um, in addition to this because um, I want to be able to manipulate, say, the... Um, yeah, oh man, <laughs> the effect fields have blown me away. I kind of understand. I, I did do this a long time ago, but the problem with me is that I ended up going off of Dreams, doing something else, and then pretty much forgetting everything I ever did within Dreams. So I'm just kind of like learning to walk again after learning to walk the first time. <laughs> like, well, I say learning to walk. I, I managed to crawl, uh, and now I'm trying to learn to uh, walk and, well, crawl then walk again. So um, what, I'm, what I want to do is sometimes I want to manipulate uh, several different things at once. Um, so I want to create stuff down here, uh, sliders if I can. I think Dreams has that. So I might make a little box with uh, or a microchip with some like sliders and switches in, and have those wired like or wire them up to stuff, and then use that instead of constantly manipulating in the windows themselves. So in the track that I made the other day when I had like three or four different um, synth parts or uh, that I would like to have squished down into one part so by com like compiling it basically into one or rent you might think of it as rendering it all as one I wish Dreams did that but it doesn't so I'd love to be able to squash things down into a comp and then be able to affect that as a whole rather than having individual pieces now I know I can highlight them all and open all the windows up and do it that way but that's really messy so I'd like to be able to figure out a way that I can just on the fly route them to stuff like make that part of my routine when I've got it there okay route it to this route it to that so then I can just start affecting everything with one slider it will stay all stay in sync and then the beauty of that is, is that then I can go in and individually adjust set like sliders within the elements themselves within the music uh, pieces and it won't affect the rest of them so uh, I'll have two ways of manipulating sounds that will keep them separate but at the same time will have, have one that affects globally one that affects locally there's probably a better way of describing it um, I'm probably not very good at explaining exactly how it works but it, um, in practice uh, it will be much clearer so I'll tell you what I'll do then is if we just bang down drop down some sounds nothing crazy I'm not even gonna I'm not even going to 
make my own. I'm just going to drop stuff down so we get some drums. This ain't gonna work because I'm a BPM set to 174, so it's gonna have to be some DMB. Yeah, make a timeline within a timeline. So, previous, that's, uh, do you know, the funny thing is, last time I streamed, I warned people that I like to create timelines within timelines within timelines, <coughs> just to keep everything like nice and organized. And I use those timelines kind of like, comp like, like what I was saying, as comps. So, like, I put everything together, put it in a timeline. And I was using keyframes to affect stuff with that timeline, but like you say, with effect fields, I'm pretty sure that the the, the, um, the outcome is exactly the same. So yeah, effect fields. So Tap Giles is saying that I should really check out effect fields and work on effect fields. And if Tap Giles says that I should work on effect fields, maybe I should work on effect fields and figure things out because they are amazing. Let's be let's be real here. Like uh, one of the ones on the vocal. Um, samples that media molecule did was I, was I was just blown i just sat there for a good 10 minutes just messing around with things thinking my god i wish i had something like this in logic you know it was amazing it really was just so it's just so fluid isn't it it's not gonna work on the drums but you get the idea Nice and simple. Ooh, a little bit of pitch bend on that. See? Like this kind of stuff. Like trying to do that in logic or with a beat machine. You'd spend I mean like you, it can be done. But it's nowhere near as simple as this. Like adjusting the way that it moves over time from going from the, the centre to the edge. Yeah. Whoever thought of that deserves deserves a raise because it's amazing. And I would love oh my god, I didn't I didn't record anything. Why not? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Keeping you up. Why did you not record? Why, 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 why? Try again. Oh, now that time it did, and I used the wrong bloody note. There we go. I have no idea what I did the first time round to offend <coughs> offend my drums. Right, so these sh actually should have been quantized nicely. I'm going to turn grid off. For now, back here. And back into music mode. Should have quantized these. Mm. No. You definitely not.
I just want something straight for now. Nothing, nothing too scary. No, 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 no. I was doing it. It was not right. Right. Ah, no, on beat. Get on beat. Right, so that should be that one. And then we're going to... It's only going to be a little four bar. Just to try and mess with stuff. And add things to a template. I don't think I'm... I don't feel like creating this early in the morning. And... No, actually, not instruments. Let's try just... Sound effects, effect fields, music clips, that's probably better. sound really really odd you pause right so I'm just gonna catch up on comments so you might find with me I'll end up getting into something and missing loads of comments so I'm just gonna catch up on comments you'd pause while the timeline was halfway through I think right okay then so always remember to rewind clicking my left stick Right, I'll try and remember that one. Uh, it quantizes the dots. Adjust the dot size with L1 up and down. Was that grid mode does that? Because I know there is... I, I thought there was a separate grid for the music mode. So does the global grid also quantize as well then, does it? Because if it does, then I might as well keep that on. Adjust the dot size is L1 up and down. Way okay. So I'm adjusting the resolution of the grid like that. Okay. That's something new that I've learnt today. I can't see, I can't exactly see, there's no visual feedback as to what I'm currently on though, is there? That's a bit is it because I haven't grabbed anything? No. Oh no, I can I can see the dots moving there, but it's very Ah, right. Okay. Okay. Right. I see. So I presume that actually does quantize the dots within a timeline as sorry, quantize things within the timeline, which is really handy. Yeah, I've, I've noticed the quantized button. It, it had actually quantized. It's just that my timing, I think my timing was uh, off. So no, it's a different grid. Open a clip and adjust it in there. Same short, same shortcut though. Right, okay then. So if we... So I remember this the here. If I move this off... Oh, that's moved it back on again. We've got this quantize here, haven't we? So I select and then go snap notes. And it snaps it to whatever I've got the quantize setting to. But if I do it in here... <gasps> oh, tap Giles, mate. Right. Let's try that again then. So... Let's try getting it nice and huge. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. 
I need to remember that one. I need to remember that, definitely. Oh, oh, that's that's so nice. Nice one, Tap. Thank you very much for the tips, man. Okay, uh, do you know what? I always think, oh, that's going to sound horrendous. It sounds actually quite nice, doesn't it? It's not too bad. The drums don't sound right. At all. Right, I don't think I've got this timeline looping. No. Nope. So we'll get rid of that. Now, let's have a look then. Um, because if I then double this up, but I want to have these open and. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so it's. I've got some visual feedback there showing me my music snap. I aligned that to the grid and it's now disappeared. I think I can see it up here. There we go. So say I have got distortion on. Say for these, and the reason I'm choosing distortion is because it's really easy to hear. And I want to affect both of them at the same time. Normally I would select these two, but when I've got several things together, It can be quite laborious to just go through all of them. Now, Tap was saying about putting them in a separate timeline and having an effect field, which, when I think about it, sounds like a really, really cool way, because then I can have multiple different things in an effect field, and using Dream's kind of unique ability to just glide around sounds like really good, really good fun. So we'll try that then. So, new timeline. And we'll stick it directly in here because then it will sync. That's gone to eight bars, which we don't need right now, so we'll drop that down to four. Open this up. And we'll grab these and we'll. Oh, no. Don't want you. Just for you. Select those, drop those in. Now, how do I get to effect fields then? So, you should imagine I just get one and make a blank one. Would that be how it's done? So, search, effect fields, media molecule, blank. There we go. So, we've got a blank effect field. I'm going to stick it up here for now. And what we got in here today? Okay, reverb. So, ah, ah, no, 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 no. Do that's just an effect field. I would put that inside a microchip. Am I thinking right here? Yeah, I must. Be, I must have to put this inside something else, like a microchip. Let me just try that. I could look at the comments and get an answer, I know. But I'm going to try. Is it a microchip? No, because when I put it in a microchip... Let me just try this. Let me experiment. Let me, let me just figure stuff out, because then I'm more likely to remember it. And... A little bit of chorus on and some delay. No, so that's not how that works then. Okay, so it doesn't go in a microchip. Where does it go? Where does it go? Where does it go? Where does it go? Let's go back into audio mode, sound gadgets, settings, tools. Nothing in tools. Wouldn't go in a timeline. I mean, I could put it in a timeline, but I should imagine if I put it in a timeline, it, it would affect everything globally. And I do mean everything. So where would it go then? Sound gadgets. Not a speak. It can't be a speaker.
I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at the comments. Someone else, I should imagine. Tap. Look at him. Comments have the answer. I just read that at the bottom there. Hmm. Comments have the answer. So am I how do I actually make my own effect field then tap? Because I've got the I've got the gadget that's doing the like that would do the effect, but I haven't got that UI. I haven't got the interface. It'd be an instrument, wouldn't it? Of course. So I'd need a blank instrument, so I'd get an instrument. No, because I'd have to do it within the I'm just trying to think, because I'd like to have my own effect field that I can apply to anything. So where I've got this here, these have their own effect fields. And now I can go in and delete all of these, which I, I, I probably don't want to do. What I want to do is have an additional one that is separate to this, but affects them both. And I don't know if I could do that. Does, is there wiring on these, on these bad boys? Just stop. If there is wiring, I don't see it. A slice mapper, which I don't need. Piano roll. And this here, stop performing for now. So, I mean, the only other thing I can think of is that I would just plop it in. No. I know, ah, I think I know what you're saying, so I would put it in the timeline, wouldn't I? So where did my effect field go? Where's it gone? Well, I deleted it. Um, no, there it is. So I'd grab this, open this and put it in here like this and then have that that's what I think you're getting at isn't it let's just try that quickly it's going to sound god awful but yeah <laughs> okay then hmm I like that but what I would like is... Mm. I really want to have that that interface, so make my own effect fields like the way the instruments have got them there. That would, if, you could, if they make that separate, and then you can make your own, and then just bung a wire into it, and have that affect a sound on the fly, that would be pretty amazing. Where on earth did that... Why is Dreams doing this? Someone tell me, I, it used to do this before, and it was something, I think, probably to do with grid snap. And it would shove things up in the top and top and bottom corners. Let's go have a swig of coffee. You can turn grid off now, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that I like my windows to be... Ah, no, because we've got it on the keep upright, haven't we? So, you're right. No, I've gone to the wrong place there. Grid off. There we go. There we go. And I, I think if I... Yes, they don't rotate, do they? They stay... That one's pinned to the screen, though. So that's fine. I'm just going to have a swig of coffee. Hey Emily. What's that? All right, okay. Ah. Hmm. How come you're up this early then, Tap? All right, okay. You go get your brekkie. No worries. Let's turn everything off that I adjusted. 
actually let's just put them back to default as well Hey, leave the cat alone, you. Why am I getting a firm thermo warning? What's going on there? Yeah, I know that feeling. I can usually force myself to go back to sleep, but um, my body hates me for it. So I'm getting some something bizarre happening. I'm getting a thermo warning. Um, I have no idea why. But it's for audio, but it tells me when I look at the therm uh, thermometer that my audio is at one percent, as you can see here. telling me I hit a limit. Is that because I have this chip with all the stuff in it? I have no idea why. If that's the case, then that kind of screws over my um, idea of having all my effects and uh, side chains and everything all in one chip, so I don't know why. Yeah, um, so if I click on it, can I get any more detail? I reckon you're right, it could be the delay, because these two have quite a heavy delay on them. saying the audio is becoming distorted. But it's not. Doesn't sound too distorted to me. It would seem a bit odd that it can't handle its it can't handle two instances of this. We'll look at the delay. Right, that delays zero. That delays on twenty percent going to A. Um 
think I've had more delays than this in my previous track. I don't know what what would cause it. Maybe it's because I've got all these other ones, but then if they're not affecting anything, why would any processing power be dedicated to them? I don't know. The thermometer will just annoy me. If I can't hear any problem with the sound, I'd, I'm just I'm going to ignore it, really. It's telling me that um, it's distorting, but it's taken. I notice it's after this loops and loops and loops, so almost like a, a feedback loop. I don't know whether that's um, what's causing it. I should imagine it is. Did you notice it go? It cycles through it once. Fine. Second time, that's when it happens. And it goes away and comes back. Goes away, comes back. Uh, let me just. Uh, if I power that off. This is where being able to squish these down into one sound would be beneficial. Because then it's not having to pump two sets of reverbs and delays out from two separate instances. It could just squish these down into one and you just have a global reverb and a global global delay on those. Uh, just on, on just one track. That's going to be a problem, unfortunately. Especially in how how like that's that seems like a bit of an oversight because in larger compositions you're going to have a lot of delay and a lot of reverb, even just like in non in a non music sense you're going to have that. So I don't know whether it's worth. Let me just try because I don't think it's going to have anything to do with these being here because they're not being triggered so let's just delete these for now and keep our A from both delay and reverb and see if that makes any difference it shouldn't do from, but then again I don't know how Dreams works why is there two? Yeah, it's popping up right. The reason why there's two is it's a, it's a bit of a common technique in in music. So, firstly, if you want to increase the power of something in music, if you find something's like not pushing through the mix, a common thing to do is just to just duplicate it and add it into a separate track, and then you'll get you know you got it becomes louder and it cuts through rather than just raising the volume because sometimes you want to keep the volumes the same. Uh, when it comes to like mastering and mixing later on, so you don't want to mess with the volumes too much because that can put you over not uh, not dB. I try and work to 0.5 under, although I can't tell with Dreams. I think it's got its own limiter on it that's doing all that stuff anyway. Um, but manually, I would I would do that myself. So that's reason number one. It's a less common one, um, really. But the most common reason, and the reason why I do it usually, is because I like to have s control the panning separately. So you'll notice that what I've actually done is that um, we have no, that's effect field. We've got these two that are pretty much identical until we get to panning. And I've hard panned them for now. Let's get rid of rear of speakers. So I've hard panned them. Um, and having one left, one right, <clears throat> and this means then that I can add effects to them separately. So I can actually give this one its own distortion, which is what it's got here. So if I make that, get a bit more subtle, then I'm only going to get this. Uh, I'm only going to get the distortion, and that's really annoying me because I want that one over the side, so I've got my left and my right. <laughs> that's my left one. 
that's my right one. There's a way of adding something that's a bit subtle. I mean, this one I might even... Uh, let's see, let's drop our stereo width for this one. And drop our stereo width slightly for this one. I don't hear this one for some reason. Is that because I left the distortion off? There was the volume dropped on this one. Uh, that's why. I wondered why something sounded a bit too strong on the right there. Okay, let's put our panning back. Do it 80. And then this one. That's why I would have two of them. So now I've got my, my instruments panned left and right and I can affect them individually and make like subtle changes to them over time. Like that. It's just a nice little technique, little trick to um, Add some, add some movement and, you know, something different and create something um, that sounds similar, but is also just that slight, you know, because obviously your ear is used to hearing repetitive sounds and a lot of electronic music does, or at least used to be, very repetitive. Um, but doing something like this and just having it slowly change over time, you're getting that familiar sound that's, that's there that you're used to looping over and over, but then you're having an affected sound which is exactly the same um in a different ear slightly bled over to the other ear and it just i don't know i mean like i don't know how that sounds to you guys to me it sounds really good i i, I like it it's an effect that i use all the time that's why i would have two instances of something um and also like when it comes to other parts this is quite a musical part but say like a bass line or even a drum loop you're going to want to have maybe two or three even because then you're going to a b and c switch between them so you have a drum loop a drum loop b and then maybe um, drum loop C for like a break or something like that uh, to add variation again into a pattern. So um, there are many reasons why I would want to have several instances of the same track and then want to be able to affect them individually but also affect them globally. So that's what I'm trying to do at the moment. I hope that's making sense. I'm hoping that example that I gave there makes sense. But with drums and, and, and you know, I would... So even with you know, anything really, vocals would be one where you would have a lot of doubling up because that technique there, what I'm doing there, with vocals, that's a massive, like a massive technique that's used all the time. You double up your vocals, you have your backing vocals, you'll have vocals that are delayed with loads of reverb, but you'll have those further back in the mix because you don't want them to overpower the actual vocals. So you'll have like a straight vocal track, which is just running all the way through, but then next to that, um, like either say either side of it so that's our main vocal track either side of it you'll have a, like a that vocal but reverbed that vocal but distorted or something like that and just have those bleed slightly in yeah sorry catch up with the comments there go into the effect field and turn off the chorus delay and see if that um, affects the warning. Effects will have, have wave settings which change over time. Hmm. Is that like when you see it, it looks like water drop, like a, the ripples from a water droplet and it's wobbling? And then other ones, you've got like these lines that are 
I don't know how to describe it. They're like vertical lines that look like. Um, I'm showing my age here, but when I used to watch TV, I don't really watch TV anymore. In the corner, you used to get this little thing that would tell you when the adverts are coming. It was like a black and white symbol that would. Ooh, yeah, I don't think I can describe that very well, but it, that's what the effect fields look like. Yeah, like here, you can just about see this one moving. Is this is what you mean by the waves here. This kind of psychedelic circle. Turning it off. So even though it's not affecting the sound, that's using processing power, I think is what you were trying to say there, Tap, yeah? It'd be the same with the sound effects as well. I can't turn those off. The warning's still there, but if it's not affecting anything, I'm not bothered. know if there's any way of retroactively moving these that would be something that's quite interesting so sometimes uh, I will be messing with this and I'm happy with the way the notes are but I ha I'm not happy with how I've done it in the effects not quite how I want it and I just want to like nudge that there my dog what are you doing what are you doing you silly girl I just want to nudge it over I don't I don't know if there is. I've not found a way, but the thing with dreams it seems to have lots of hidden features, things hidden away. Yeah, there's no way of doing it in there. I don't know why they don't have keyframes. They're so important. They really should be um, ah, in here already, like in the music bit. I must remember to make sure my imp's over the side before uh, I. Uh, Stop recording. Now we're going to have this. Stain. I don't know if that's really working. So, can I use a, 
A keyframe to affect two things at once? I've never tried. I've only ever used them to affect one thing at once. So if I edit. And then. My friend. Right. In and then. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Hmm. Okay. Still need to get a hang of these effect effect fields, really. Funny how the graph twi <laughs> yes, my old twitchy hands I think doing that. <laughs> you can fade in effect fields with the normal handles, so you could use that for the same right? Okay. When the imp is an outline, it's performing. Use L1 and circle to stop performing. Then you can move notes and effects around in the performance window. You know that fucking meme of the cat with the newspaper at the breakfast table? That's literally how I feel right now. Even if I didn't move, even if I couldn't move the notes, I can move effect fields. So the notes would be static and I'd just move the effect field to the, get the sound that I want. But you're saying that I can move the notes around as well? So I can go into piano roll and select the note. I've got to try this. I'll go into piano roll. And I'm just going to select not all of them, just a few. Go back into performance. No. How how do I move these then? I'm using right trigger. No, that's not right. It's going to have to be no, right, okay. Now I've lost all my notes. How will I move them? It's not... Oh, it's stopped performing, because I'm performing, aren't I? <gasps> oh my god! Tap, how did you, did you just figure all this out? Or have you learnt this from, like, Bogdan et al? Because I've come back and I've missed so much of the, like, stuff that the devs have been talking about. Um... Ah, oh, man. That's, like, that's really heavily distorted, that one, isn't it? <laughs> My god, this game is a, this game. This fuck it I keep having to remind myself it's a game. It's a game. It's a game. It's unbelievable. I'm I'm, I'm afraid that it's going to get overshadowed though. Dreams. It's a tough sell for people, I think. You got someone like me, I'm going to buy it straight away because I'm a creative. I love making stuff. You know, I I wanted to make music. That's why I got dreams, uh, because I wanted something to make music on the console. Uh, I've ended up doing mainly sculpting and stuff like that and figuring that out. Um, but someone not, that's not like me, say someone like my partner who isn't what I would consider a creative. How do you make dreams appeal to her? Because so far, a lot of dreams is just people creating stuff. 
and not playing stuff. So tough sulfur media molecule, and I think, unfortunately, dreams might get overshadowed. And especially with the new consoles coming out as well. I'm hoping this com goes over to PS5. Hope there's a version of it. I know it'll be backwards compatible, but um, well, I'm pretty sure it will be. But I'm hoping they do make a a version for it and leverage the extra RAM and uh, the SSD, which should make a massive difference. Oh my god, that's I just, uh, that's so good, so good. And these are all just effect fields, aren't they? It's all they are. Well, they've added their own bits and bobs to them. How are they getting this movement? How is that happening? That seems independent of the slider. Oh shit. This is what you're talking about, isn't it? Wave. Wave rate. Oh my god. Random smooth. Right. Okay, okay. I'm just going to test. Because I made my... Um, thingy, didn't I? My sync. This should... Please work. No. Signal from open that up. Forget it's in a microchip. No, that's not going to work then. Need to go into this. No, I don't. No, 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 I don't. Do I? That's transmitting. That actually isn't what I want. I've got my things the wrong wrong way round. This is the one that I want. This is the one that's syncing the BPM. So that should now sync this. Well, don't, I'm not getting a numerical value. I'm going to trust in the logic. So let's adjust the overall tempo then. No, why is that not? Why well, won't that work? I mean, I've got I've gone on a bit of a tangent here, but basically, um, I've set up what I hope would be a beat sync um, transmitter. So I've got my master timeline that's constantly pumping out a signal to this transmitter, which is then transmitting to the receiver. And so that I can keep things in sync. Uh, as you've just seen there, I want to say, okay, let's put that effect field and just quickly go, right, I want that to sync up without having to try and do it manually by the percentage because as I've just seen there, Dreams doesn't tell you 
like it says wave rate but then I'm like yeah but I want to sync that maybe I want to sync that rate to BPM but it doesn't tell me what BPM I'm in so I was hoping that I'd be able to use something like this to sync it and initially it looked like it worked but then I thought right okay then what happens if I change the BPM on the fly is that going to output a signal no because I'm affecting the wrong timeline like an absolute moron so just forget everything I said because this is the master timeline <sighs> yes that works cool oh Learning so much today. Learning so much. Right, but I don't actually want that BPM synced right now. So if I do that, it should go back to its default value. Was No, was it 33? I can't remember. <sighs> Effect fields. I still wish I could have one separately. Like this interface here, this, without anything, um, or without any instrument attached to it, but then go, right, I want to plug my drums into this. I want to plug uh, some pianos into this one and have that effect field be like um, an instrument in its own right that I can put things into. That would be really, that would be really fucking cool. Because then you could have a bank of global effects. And I know you've got delay and reverb, but you could have a bank of global effects with that really slick interface. And the wave settings and the depth settings. That would be insane. <laughs> I'm sure that there must ah, there must be a way of doing that. Whoa, sorry, loads of um They have a 10 year plan with Sony, amazing. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people that have... Uh, I think, just going back to um, the strategy with, with MM and Dreams, I think the reason why we've had such a really long early access period and they had the, the um, alpha and the beta was to give people a chance to obviously get used to the tools but start making stuff so that when Dreams launches as a new player, as someone who's never seen it, who's never, you know, just heard about it on the grapevine, has come and got it, and they sit down, and obviously Medium, Medium Molecule is going to have their own stuff that they're going to play through, but then they're going to go, right, okay, I've done that, now what? You know, they might not want to touch the creative tools, but other people will have, and there should be, in theory, lots of content. There's already tons of stuff out there, you know, there's lots of really cool stuff. There's lots of really weird stuff. There's lots of really crap stuff. And I include some of my stuff in that as well. You know, that's just someone not sure what they're doing. So I think that was their strategy, was to have that really long time, hopefully get creators making loads of really good stuff so that when a new person comes in, they can go, my God, look at all this content. I still think it's a tough sell. I really do. There's no like... It's hard because I know dreams and I know it's power. Like I, I can see it's, it's potential and it's power. But there will be a lot of people out there that won't. So I, I would expect to jump in the player base. But I personally think there, need, there has to be something that's so killer that you can only get within dreams. 
and then that will be the thing that sells it to everyone else now I, I'm not trying to shit on anyone right now but I don't know what that is personally and I've only just started to kind of you know I've got I've got I've got you tap in my in my stream talking to me you know like so I've I've only just started to really see some of the key people involved in the community and what they're creating and I've just started following them and watching them hope you know just trying to feed off and bounce off off the creativity and hopefully like I have done learn a lot of stuff um I don't know what the killer thing is going to be for someone like like I said like my partner who isn't creative she's not interested in music creation she's not interested in sculpting this stuff but she is interested in seeing what other people have done and I think she would be interested in playing stuff and it is like you say early access I appreciate that but someone else might not do and I reckon a lot of people won't do when a game gets released that early access isn't an excuse anymore so we can't say oh yeah well it's a you know it's early access so give it time if there's not if, if there's nothing there if 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 mm's game is killer then that's it problem solved but i don't know there's a lot of people out there that i think will look at this and go oh no it all looks really samey it all looks like this even though i mean okay parts of it can look samey i think you know that flex you kind of know stuff that's been made in dreams it's quite easy to see it when you've been using it quite some time I don't know still a tough sell still a tough sell I think so yeah I think there's gonna be a jump in players but I don't know I don't know if it's gonna be the smash that we would probably like it to be although personally I don't care I don't care as long as it's here I don't care if it's a smash hit as such just as long as it's still here and like you say if it's been supported by Sony for the next 10 years my god let's hope that media molecule starts maybe adding some more stuff you know maybe <laughs> some more tools to play with please <laughs> Oh, disarmed. My God. His stuff's unreal. Yeah, see, Dream Surfing is cool, I think. But a lot of the content, and I don't know whether this is because of the way that they've got it set up with Dream Surfing and the way they push certain things to the top, um, I find a lot of the content to be quite short. And I don't know whether some... Like, I personally don't have a problem with that because I like hopping from one thing to the next so something that's short is actually quite cool for me you know a couple of minutes here maybe something to try and work with a height score um i'm okay with that but i reckon there'll be a lot of people out there that'll pay i, I don't know how much streams is going to be at launch you know if it's 30 pound 40 pound if it's full price they're going to pick that up and they're going to be expecting something in there that's going to last them several hours that's what i mean you know, now this is going to make this is lasting several hours because I'm faffing around and talking and making stuff and failing and trying again. But people, when they you know pick up a game, they want to play a game. They don't want to play music creation. They don't want to play sculpt something. You know, most people will probably pick it up, sculpt a penis. And then that's it. And I, I literally do mean that that's probably what they'll do. They'll be like, oh, yeah, the sculpt a cock, comedy dick. Woohoo. Great. And then they'll never touch it again. So it's a bit. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it will be a, a slow burn. See, that's it. You're saying, and I understand that, you get thousands of games and games yet to be made for £40 or whatever. But there's a lot of people that don't have the patience. You know, we're, we're part of the, gen, you know, generation of instant gratification. It's, it, it, you know, I, I take a picture, I upload it somewhere, and I expect people to look at it, and I get feedback on it immediately. That's instant gratification. I buy something, I put it in my disk drive, or I download it, 
and <laughs> there you go downloading instant gratification I don't even have to go to the shop I purchase it and I start downloading it and I play it depending on my connection within hours or minutes so how do you sell that how do you sell dreams to someone that isn't a creative probably won't see that I'm not saying there's not that I, I think I'd, I'd like to that's what I'm trying to say I'm not trying to shit on anyone or anything I there are games that last a good amount of playtime and there are even series of games um, when I was watching uh, Keld's stream last night there's one there that it's a sci-fi one um, that was like part five of a series you know so someone's put all that time in and effort in and you know they're up to part five of a huge what they would consider a uh, an epic series of 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 dreams you know big game but is someone going to sit through and play that you know they got they're so i think think people's expectations need to be and this is no offense to anyone okay I think people's expectations need to be lowered slightly. People outside of dreams. I don't know what the, I don't know what their expectations are. They might be expecting to come into dreams, have this like really polished, highly like high fidelity experience that probably doesn't exist right now because we're all still learning tools and we're all still learning stuff and media molecule are going to add, they're going to tweak, they're going to mess around with things I don't even know what's going to happen at release are they you know is that a new build of the game are we on the latest build because it hasn't been updated for a while so when they update stuff are they going to add a load of new stuff in it like surely that's going to break a lot of stuff for a lot of people that's got to be a real concern you know, imagine that day one they release a patch add all these things in it and it breaks half the dreams <laughs> that's going to be a real problem Tidro, hello, TG, TG Row. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. How are we doing? No, they might not intentionally do that. No, they'd keep things backwards compatible. Yeah, that'd be a smart move. It'd be the smartest move, definitely. And we know Media Molecule are not idiots, so. They're going to have contingencies in place. Right, two seconds. I've just got to let my dog out. And the thing with my dog, this one in particular, because if I don't let her out, she's likely to poop on the carpet. So I'll be back in a second. Keep chatting, though, because I'll take my phone with me. And I'll be able to read. Two seconds. Go on, go to the toilet. Right. So, um, I'm just going to quickly add my delays and reverbs back again. Uh, this actually needs to be swapped with the other one. Okay. 
So I'm trying to think of what else I would have set up in a template. So this is what I'm actually making. I'm not making music, I'm making a template. A template that I'm going to save and come back to. Like a, um, a track starter, but without actually anything in it. So these are just kind of placeholders at the moment. And I've just been learning some new techniques, which is all good. Ugh, learned so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what happens if I try something? Probably not going to work, but you never know. You never know. So I was thinking of having um, this performance window here with effect fields, having them all go to a node and then using that node to send off to an instrument and then being able to affect things because then that would give me an, uh, a performance window with effect fields that I can customize and then apply that to anything. There must be a way. Maybe a node's not the right one. What would be a good way? I'm not very good with the logic, so it might take me a while. See, a node is just a like a pass through, isn't it? So you, a way of yeah, <laughs> they say a pass through. Yeah, see that that node it was in the performance window. So you're you're on you're on it tap. You you can see what I'm thinking. Yeah. Maybe I'm just not doing it. Right, is there an output page? And that's the problem, is there isn't a specific kind of output, is there? Only power. No, that's not going to work. Don't think I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything because these don't have any kind of specific output page like this here or this where I can send it to a channel what about those channels? what do those channels have on them? Uh, 
Ah, that's it. Damn it. Saving for some tabs. Leave that for now. There must be some way. Just by how this, like, like the effect field is just basically, it feels like an instrument just with a couple of bits removed. The way that you've got like the same effects in there. The only thing that's unique is the zone itself. So I presume it shares a lot of the same basic functionality. So I should be able to plug things in and out of it. Or fudge something. No. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I'm just going to plop loads of stuff down and see if anything anything plugs into anything. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that I can't wire anything up. That is a shame. I don't know whether it's because it's a limitation because of the sound engine itself. Because obviously when you start being able to add effects globally, that's going to increase your processing power. Sorry, that's going to increase the load on the processor and everything else as well, so that could be something that isn't possible. Or, it's something they haven't thought about, and I need to get onto them and say, hey guys, come on, this really beautiful, unique to dreams effect fields in a performance window should have an input and output so I can apply that to everything. I'm just going to close my door, and the dogs are back. Okay, what happens if I apply an effect field to a physical object in the scene? Uh, search 
fields blank. What did I do? I done messed up. Must forget oh my god, search Jim. Christ almighty mate. I did stamp it. And then hang on a minute. Positional. Nah, this and have it affect this. Mm, that's global. That would do everything, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. So getting somewhere, but I've got a feeling that I don't need that attached to anything in particular. Because I open this up, I should better do the same thing, shouldn't I? Positional sphere scene. Yeah. But interesting that I could probably put it on and no, because then I don't get this lovely. Do I? Let me just try again. How do I get that kind of interface? Let's try. He knows about you. Try. That's not going to work, is it? If I do positional sphere. Inner and outer, I'm not seeing a graphical representation of that. The idea I was having was to have it attached to some physical object and then putting timelines, <laughs> getting timelines. Uh, putting them inside the sphere. I don't know. I don't know what my brain's thinking. I don't know what it's thinking. Yeah, sorry, um, TG. 
I I don't know how to pronounce that. And like I say, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. What I'm trying to do is, yeah, I can use keyframes, and keyframes are great, but they are they're not expressive. So keyframes are great when I want to go from one value to another value, and I know what that value is. There can be some variation in there, and you can experiment, but nothing is going to beat this here. This interface that we have here, where I can take a note and just go wild and be really expressive and try different things. Excuse me. This is something that's really kind of unique to Dreams and it's really beautiful and it's really cool. You've got nice visual feedback as well as the auditory feedback. So it's really good for performance stuff. And what I want to be able to do is have this interface without any of this because that's actually an instrument. So I just want this interface which I can then apply to whatever I want and not have it be specific to this instrument here so say I wanted to do something funky with my drums and I had another say pad down here pad uh, sound and I really liked the effect field uh, of those keys and I'm like I want that to I want that to affect my pads and my drums a little bit. So what I'd like to be able to do is then take that effect field and say, right, apply it to my pads, apply it to my drums, and have a slider or something that allows me to adjust how much I'm sending to each one. Or just apply it globally and then adjust it from within the... Uh, effect field itself so that's what I want as you can see I mean I've got keyframes here and this one's actually affecting an um, god I always forget that one I think it's affecting this one the ADSR yeah so yeah I use keyframes all the time to animate stuff and like I said it's great when you want to know where you're going because you've only got two values and for me to say right I want to be able to go like move it say I wanted to take this ADSR and uh, it's not going to work because it's not like a 3D space but say something like distortion where I can move it round four axis it's not going to work with a keyframe as far as I'm aware let's try it actually I've never really spent much time trying it but I believe because it moves in the linear fashion and all the lines are of a linear fashion you have a start point and an end point the only way to do it would be to have loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of different keyframes and have each one move a piece like this because it's linear it's only going to go from A to B each time that's what I'm thinking So, if actually we test that out then. No, that's a music timeline. God, my brain. And um, we want keyframe, 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 keyframe. And we're going to have our start. And then stop that one. Keyframe number two. And I'm going to want that to go there. And then we're going to want our keyframe 3, and we'll go up, 4, back on itself, and lastly 5, back down to here. I wasn't stopping recording, was I? Between each keyframe. Oops. Is that going to work? Huh, I just realised that. <gasps> Ooh, that's not bad, is it? 
me just... That's not bad at all. Now, if I... Go into these, I can then... Hang on. Stop performing. Springiness. Let's see how that affects. Didn't notice a difference. Let's try it on this one. Springiness and try easing both. Okay, 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 okay. Still think that's quite laborious, though. And it gives you a lot of. I mean, it's. Uh, on one hand, I've got more things to play with and more things to tweak, which is always something that tickles my. Uh, tickles me nipples. Uh, but at the same time, when you want to do something quickly. Like, having that effect field like I had there, and just going, right, I just want to plug you into it, plug you into it, go. Bing, 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 do the stuff, record it, and be done. Whereas this is a, you know, I've got to come out of sound mode. I've got to go to the animate, add down a keyframe, add down another keyframe, add down another keyframe. And when I'm trying, when you're making lots of uh, intricate movements, I imagine keyframes are a little bit, oh, excuse me, coffee burps. A little bit unwieldy, for want of a better word. They're great, but but I am surprised with that result. So um, thanks for making me think about keyframes again. And I think that's probably how I'm going to have to do things, because my way of trying to have an effect field manipulate something doesn't seem possible right now. <laughs> Look at the chat. <laughs> Please check the chat. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Do you know what? What shall I put the chat on, on the stream? I'll just read this, and then I'll put the uh, while I'm doing that, I'll put the chat on. So you'll lose me for a second. Hey, there we go. So I'm just going to catch up. Uh, you're saying you're using an action recorder. That makes sense. It's basically a ton of keyframes that follow exactly what you did. Oh man, please check the chat. I'm sorry, Tap. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Am I giving you anxiety with my lack of, of, uh, of punctualness with checking the chat? When you stamp a new one, the new one is recording and not the old one. I take it you're referring to me popping down the keyframes. Action recorder makes. This, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna try the action recorder because I think I done it with animations or try like with sculpture. I haven't tried it with audio. Well, that's the. Th I think that's, that's the thing with dreams. There's several ways of doing the same thing, which is brilliant. 
because you want something like that because then something that might work for somebody else um might someone might want the precision of of keyframes because they are very precise you know you do one value for your start one value for your end choose your curve and away it goes and you don't have to worry about anything Okay, I take it you're still referring to keyframes. You say it's the a won't work way of doing things. It it will, for like I said, for certain things, and the result there was wasn't too bad. I have to agree. But if like you're saying the action recorder, and when I think about it, the moment you say action recorder, of course it's going to record everything, isn't it? It's going to be a nice smooth movement. Yeah, the effect field stuff won't work. I just thought it'd be worth a try, though, just to see if I could figure it, you know, it'd be, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? It'd be, it, that'd be my method, then. I'd be able to name it after me. It'd be the jimp method. <clears throat> Bring out the jimp. Um... Hey, it's fun going down rabbit holes. This is how people learn stuff. Don't take my fun away. Right, okay, let's try the uh, the action recorder method then. And it's... It, I keep press. Do you know what really fucks me up, right? Is that sometimes it's L1 plus square to open something, and other times it's L1 plus X. And it depends on what it is you, you're holding. See, L1 plus X to open your microchip. But L1 plus square to open the actual gadget. I know, I appreciate that tap. I'm not trying to rag on you or anything, mate, at all. I'm just trying to have a bit of fun. <laughs> trying to have some fun at your expense, because everyone's having fun at my expense, and it's just not fair. Right, action recorder. <coughs> uh, do you know what? I'm glad you... Uh, again, just like uh, TG, I'm calling you TG from now on, and until I get told otherwise. Um... I'm glad you bring it to my attention because it's very easy for, to, for me to forget that because so much has been made, it, it, definitely in music, of keyframes. Make sure you use your keyframes, use keyframes, so automation, use keyframe, keyframe, keyframe. And you can see why because they do look like traditional kind of um, automation curves. So it's really easy to see why keyframes would be the go to method. So the fact that you mentioned an action recorder for something like, uh, we'll do it on this one this time. Something like this distortion where you've got different axes, you know, you've got uh, my dog wants cuddles, don't you? Okay, not now though. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, baby girl. So, uh, the action recorder was great for that. Again, I wish there was a section. I, I wish I could go. And I'm going to need to have things playing, aren't I? Because if I pop this down, it starts immediately, if I remember. My dog's resting on my arm, which makes things a bit difficult to move. I'm s Right. Does it just start playing automatically? I hope it does. No. Yeah, so an action recorder would definitely be better. And I can keep that within this. Kiri, uh, Kira, sorry baby. Let me go. Give me my arms back. Okay. Okay. Okay, baby. Starts when I start changing stuff. TG, sure I'm pronouncing it right, yeah? Right, so... That's just going to loop over and over and over. What kind of options do I have? 
I'm really interested with the springiness, because I'm hoping that can add some, like, humanization to stuff. How does that work? Doesn't seem that noticeable. Travel. Reverse, nice. Ah, I've got a question. Tap or TG, are you mainly sculpting or are you more audio based or are you a little bit of everything? Because I have a very, I have a question of something that is incredibly, well, normally would be incredibly simple to do, but I could not figure out how to do it. And I'm hoping that maybe someone can. So, I really like that action recorder. I'm so glad that that was mentioned. It's kind of your job, is it? What, a bit of everything? Or... Or, um, was we talking music there? So, anyway, uh, back on track. So, I want to take this drum here. I'm going... Okay. I'm going to select all of these, uh, delete those, I'm going to select all of these, but I want to keep you. Now, I want to have this last drum reverse. And I don't know how. The only way I did it was by putting it on um, ping pong. And it reverses if I put the start time offset over here. But it seems to set time stretch to 100. Is this on the... Granular, yep. Yeah. Granular. Okay, it starts at the end. Do I need to take turn ping pong off now, don't I? Because I've still got it on there. So, sustain. Yeah, Tap, I've, I've watched a few of your videos. I'm, I've also got your documentation as well um, that I've read for a little bit about some of the uh, hidden features in the controller. That's what I wanted it for. So, yeah, I couldn't believe the wealth of information that's in there. That's It's incredible. So, thank you. Thank you for being on my stream as well. Thank you for actually taking the time out of your day to sit here and watch someone just fumble their way through I think I think I'm following you on dreams. Pretty sure I did. I followed a big bunch of people after seeing everyone in Keld stream um the other day. And I kind of stalked went went all, went full creepy. Right. It's just Oh no, that's not going to work, is it? Because it's not in the main timeline. Okay, what have I done wrong? Let's set that back, because I'm not hearing anything now.
easier, sorry. Now the sample's triggering, but I'm not hearing anything. What have I done? So what I tried to do was where Tap told me to do the time stretch in granular synthesis, set the offset to the end so it would whoop, hopefully <laughs> that nice reverse sound. But now I'm not getting anything. If I do that, is it Ah, it's minus 100. Minus 100. Yeah, I just got it there, tap. Ah! Oh. Beautiful. Right. Storing. Downloading to memory. <laughs> fucking hell. You have no idea how much I was fucking around with stuff. Trying to get it. Like I said, I did it. I did it by using the ping pong setting the offset and just adjusting like the length of the sample and I'm just like thinking there must be a way of doing this a, a, a real simple simple way of doing it yeah backing up the USB pretty much uh, perfect know what I really like that hang on no wrong one again oh my god oh it is on loop I think I have actually come across that because I think in one of the vocal ones that might happen. So like I could hear it and I'm like I know it's possible. Awesome. Ugh. So I take it tap you have been with dreams since alpha. Either that or you've spent your entire life since it <laughs> became early access. <laughs> I, am I talking to a sentient AI part of the code? Because you seem to know so much stuff, man. Not that I'm complaining at all. That was actually really nice. Just that last bit of the phrase there. It's a bit more D and B, just that, like a shorter part of it. You need to get off my hand, dog. I'm so sorry. I know you want cuddles. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Ah, don't do that. Right, let's just set this back here. You back there. Another instance of drums. Wrong button press again. Uh, delete kick. Delete snare. Uh, normally I would probably put these in a timeline, so I won't bother for now. Let's
Okay. You played the beta. After the beta ended, you started writing docs using tutorials and old streams as a guide. Then, about a month into early access, I started helping. Is that comment cut off there? Let's have a look at me mobile again. Helping people full time. So that's literally what you do. Yeah, that's amazing. That is utterly like, and you don't work. You don't work for Media Molecule, do you? You're just like, no offense, you're just some dude. Have they approached you in any way to like help with like maybe writing tutorials or stuff like that? I'm pretty sure that they look. They're going to be looking to the community to help them with this. Because you know we are not only the creators, we're the we're the we're the creators and the curators. Um, it just feels like <gasps> they haven't asked you. That's a crime, then. Have Have you not been invited to any kind of like launch event or anything like that? I know that um they had the impies, uh, which I watched. Yeah, they, they seem like an absolutely amazing place to work, don't they? Everyone there seems really happy, and I'm just like, I don't want to be part of that happiness. <laughs> like, everyone just seems so like like they, 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 you can just tell they're all bouncing off of each other, and and the creativity that must be going around there is incredible. And do you know what? Hats off to Sony as well for allowing that to happen, allowing them to have that time. I think that's one thing that Sony really does do with their studios is just let them do stuff. You know, look how long that their studios have to make stuff you know they don't there, there will be pressure obviously to release something but it feels like sony just to kind of like yeah we'll let the studios breathe and we'll let them have the time well hopefully they'll do that on a regular basis then uh, like the kind of meetups and stuff like that. That would be really nice. Like a live jam, you know, that would be cool. Uh, and I'm hoping they start throwing out some challenges. Like, you know, add a timer in, a, like, give you a two hour challenge. There you go. You, two hour challenge. What can you create in two hours? That would be amazing. So, like, they would program in the timer that would just say, right, that's it. Dream over. It just automatically saves after those two hours, and that's it. That'd be quite cool, something like that. I can see like the community stuff being just, just just exploding and being really cool. But going back to what I was saying earlier, it's how we get you know how they get other people to join in. Like how what's the hook for people? Like this is the hook for me. This the music, the the sculpting, which I didn't think I would be really that into. I thought I would spend all my time making music, but if I actually show you. If I show you what I've been doing, let's just uh, quick save this. Bearing in mind that um, I have a Mac Pro, like an old Mac Pro, uh, set up with Logic, and you know I've got synthesizers, all kinds of stuff. I used to DJ as well, so music is like my thing. Ooh, level up. <laughs> see, fifty something now. Fifty six. Yeah. <laughs> so if you actually look, I've spent most of my time in in, and I take art is sculpting. Design would be logic. Uh, barely any animation. I've not done much at all. I've done very little playing, although recently I was doing a bit of uh, um, more playing. Same with curation. I've just been stuck trying to figure things out. And f there I am with audio. I was expecting these to be flipped, you know, so audio to be massive. But it hasn't been. I've just been stuck doing 
sculpture and enjoying myself doing that. I've not created anything that I'm mega proud of, just enjoying just playing around with stuff and trying to figure things out and, you know, um, trying to compete with people like John Beach. <laughs> I ain't got a chance. <laughs> He's just... Uh, so, like, that hyper-realism stuff is really good. And Disarmed, you mentioned him earlier, does some incredible stuff. So I've only just started to kind of like dip into the community side of things and start to get involved in, in that regard, which is something I, I hope that I will continue. I'm a little bit of an introvert, which might seem odd considering I'm sat here talking to the internet via a camera. But I usually like to work alone and offline and be miserable and sad. Um. Okay, do you know what? While I'm here... Nominate someone to check out. As we're talking about community. Name a dreamer or a dream that I should check out. Anyone? Anyone? Half up. Okay, half up. This is a dreamer or are we talking a dream? Half up. The water oh the water gardens. Oh, I think I've seen this on uh, the... Uh, yes, I have. I saw this on the uh, Molecule stream. So beautiful. Sid's treasure hunt. Oh, I've got myself stuck. Oh, hold R1 to aim, not L1. There we go. I love this depth of field. Oh. And it just shows you, doesn't it? It just shows, it just, shows just how simple something can be. But look, utterly beautiful. Monument Valley. Music as well, oh. See, like, something like this is something that a lot of people would play, but it's whether or not it can be promoted correctly. <laughs> he misses the jump. I'm just gonna have to turn volume down slightly. It's a bit, it's a bit loud in my headphones.
this kind of zoomed out isometric style works so well. Hey, what's down there? Do I go down there or do I go up? Let's, let's explore. Let's go down. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> So rubbish. Carrying my little cube. It is it is tricky, but it's it's lovely at the same time. I'll forgive any trickiness. Is this just taking me back to the dog? Ooh, it's funky down here. Uh, I'm not too sure how I would do this. I pick this back up. Oh no! That's going too fast for me to be able to jump, isn't it? So. <sighs> I don't think I can jump on this and jump back up and. No! This looks like it opens. So I think. I think I'm not supposed to be here just yet. We shall continue on the other direction. I'm going to need another yellow thing that looks like a sponge. Reminds me of a sponge. Looks like I can get over here at least. No, jump. <laughs> I'm so useless. I'm doing with this blue one. Oh, it's like a key. This is going to open my side door. Nice. Yeah, it is like a sponge, isn't it? It's the way it kind of goes poof and expands out. Am I done with this blue one now? I'll take it with me. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> oh my god. 
Ah, I'm just falling. I'm not going to be able to get up without a sponge. God damn it. That's really clever, but... Just make it bounce like that. Okay. Let's try carrying our purple block. Oh, it's gone. Where's it gone? got the cone. Confused, yes. Right, okay, try returning to the map. Cool. <laughs> A cone! <laughs> Oh, it's so chilled. So relaxing. I mean, I'm, I can't say anything, it's just so lovely. I, I feel like talking is kind of... Talking over it is just... criminal. So well done. Okay, it's affected... Ah, okay. So I'm going to have to collect... two more. Blue and a red. I go to any one of these islands? Shallows. Let's try them. Yeah, I, lo I, I love the, the style. I love the music. Very clever. Puzzles that are easy to understand, but still offer that challenge. I'm hoping they get slightly more challenging. Maybe? Different islands. This is. So look at it, the way everything. Ugh. The fish under the water, the, the leaves. Lily pads.
<gasps> no! Ooh, I can swim! I was expecting to uh, die then. No, I'm not going to be able to make it there. I'm going to need a sponge anywhere. I feel like I need a sponge. Okay, some watermelon. What has eating watermelon done? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> eating watermelon has made me sneeze violently into the microphone. I apologise. <laughs> Getting Last of Us vibes. <laughs> I'll move the pallet. I'll move our wood. Very smart. Very, very smart. Thingy done? I think it is. I don't know what the watermelon did, or whether it was just there to, I don't know, be a collectible type thing, I don't know. Um, it turned around, it was this way, <gasps> oh, excuse me, hey doggy, Kira, I can't see, lay down, no, lay down, no. Lay down. Lay down. Come on. Lay down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful girl. Mm. Come, come, no. come on. Lay down. Lay down. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. There we go. Good girl. Why? Mm. Alright. I think it was this way. Yes, it was on the beach. <sighs> Just one more. Just one more. Let's go to. Oh, what happened there? There was like a little bit of a glitch. Interesting. Might have messed up. Ah, 
and I've messed up again. It looks like I can't... I can't actually get up here. Okay. Thank you for the hint. Saves me wasting time. The caves. Awesome. So smart that really is. <laughs> oh. You played this game together with your family at Centre Parks. Really awesome. The art style is, is wonderful. I just. I mean, I'm actually in awe. Like. There's a lot of stuff that I, I'm in awe of in Dreams. There's a lot of the physics stuff. Uh, the other week when I saw the rotary engine on the dev stream, uh, that you know the community creations one, where someone made a rotary engine, blown away by that. Um, obviously the hyper realistic stuff, stuff that Disarm does, uh, and obviously John Beach. <laughs> Everyone's doing the John, John Beach eggs and wood. Even me, I've been guilty of using his wood method because it was so friggin', it's so good. Um, and I'm ge you like generally in awe of all this kind of like really hyper realistic and physical stuff, and then something like this comes along and just shows you just like how expressive something can be, how beautiful and how wonderful it can be with such a simple like a, from the you know perspective of someone just sat here playing it. It looks simple. It's not obviously. It would have taken a long time to do all of this, but it's it's just so well done. And now I don't know where I'm going, and I feel like I feel like I need to go up here or something. <sighs> ah, yeah, okay. It, yeah, exactly that. And it's like all the little touches as well, like the way the grass moves when you go through it. The animation of bending down to pick something up, you know, like you can just tell that someone's poured their 
their love into this. Damn it. That's not going to work because I'm still not going to be able to jump over to the other one, even if I did make it to this block. I mean, I look. I mean, like, did they do the music themselves? Because my God, that's that's some talent. If you've done the assets, the animation, the music, I'm not saying that you, you shouldn't. You know, you should do everything yourself and shouldn't use things that other people have made. That goes against kind of ethos of dreams, really. But that's some talent. If you've if, if they've managed to just do everything, I try and do as much as myself as possible only from purely like a learning experience not a pride thing it's just learning i want to i want to learn everything myself and the more i learn about something the, the the faster and better i'll become okay i'm obviously missing something not doing something right here maybe that's what it is maybe it needs to go all the way over Torch away. I'm not seeing an obvious route for it. I want to know if anything like this will affect anything else. No, it hasn't. Hmm. No way I can make that, is there? Surely. Surely not. No. So if I can get up there, how would I... And how would I move it when I can't reach? <laughs> we'll try this halfway again. The isometric angle might be throwing me off slightly. No. Yeah, it's a tricky one. Just with that... That isometric angle is kind of throwing me off. And I'm not too sure, even if I did... It, would I be able to make this jump, this secondary jump here? Oh, oh 
close. going to get too far over wait it's going to be too far away from the uh, block I'm jumping to isn't it now Where's a sponge when you need one? I am determined to do this jump. You swine. See, that feels wrong. Get to it quite easily now, he says as he fails. Okay, <laughs> he fails again. There's another block you slide across because, yeah, this doesn't feel like. I mean, I haven't even attempted the jump because it doesn't feel like I'd even make it. I kind of feel like I have to jump from this platform here, but the only way to get to that bit is by having this all the way over. Just missing it. Let's go further to the right. At the moment, it's just a big block, solid block. I was hoping I'd be able to jump up here or something, but I can't. So let's try going to the left. Yeah, see, I, that's what I was hoping for, like another slider. Maybe I'll do it from up here. Uh, what bridge? This one? Because I've got the uh, purple E. Yeah, I did, I did the purple.
that was like that. If I pull this one all the way down, maybe that affects something else. That's what I'm thinking. Hello. Yeah. Not helping me though, ducky. You're gonna help me, Kiki. You're gonna help me. Hmm? No, you're just gonna sulk. There's no way that's going to be able to be made from here. Definitely having much more success when it was in the middle. You said you made this jump, did you tap? My god. Ooh! 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 Now, well, he's on, but how, how does he get over to this bit? <laughs> I made it on. Okay, let's try moving that out a bit. I know it was doable from the middle. That ain't do that ain't doable at all from there. No way. Purple key, are you gonna help? I'm going to go back with the purple key and see if it's a timed thing. Looks like there was a door there that was meant to open. Is that what it is? Do I have to have that lock on the purple key? Yes! 
Yes, there we go. There was another slider, you were right. Ah. It was a pressure pad. No, I didn't. That's what it was. Do 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I feel silly now. It's wonderful. Okay then. to energize the gem. And there's something shiny over here. And I don't mean the torch. What's this? Just a bit, just a bit of lighting? Or is it some energy? Crystals. Uh, I think I need to. Looks like I need to reflect them. Off of something, maybe? So crystal is going through. Sorry if you hear me, dogs. My partner's just come home. She hasn't. She's just woken up. <laughs> the dogs are going crazy, even though they saw her less than two hours ago. It's like they haven't seen her for days. Classic silly dogs. Uh, I need to go down here. How did I do it last time? I was able just to walk. Is that a path? No. Let's go further down here, because I think that's what I did. I was much lower the scene. Yes! Correcto! Yeah, I've energised that cube. I just realised my torch... Did my torch go out in the water? That's a smart touch. Might as well throw it away. Talk to me now. Is 
Is that what I needed? Was the red the red? I think. I think that's right. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. I was expecting some kind of voice line or just something just to let me know. I think that was it. But hopefully it should be on to the last well not the last, but the uh, centre island. I just noticed that he's collected all of them in his boat. <laughs> yeah! There we go. It's gone a bit, a bit dark and ominous. Give me my sponge. No. <laughs> this has been exceptional. I love that effect of the rain, the water rolling down surfaces that they've done by animating those flecks. So good. Amazing. Utterly amazing. That was so well executed from start to finish. I keep out of the way. Let's have a look at the... Uh... Nice. It's one of the best things, isn't it? You can take all these pieces and put them together and make something amazing. Uh, 
Um, what are the other ones? Excuse me. Tap, you mentioned some other, some other ones. Do you know what? I need to start making some collections, don't you? Is there a history? Can I go to, like, history of ones that I've played? I suppose that works. Dreams are thumbed up. So, by half up. That one, Pocktid's Treasure Hunt. That's what you said, wasn't it? If I remember. Oh, we've got a scoreboard. Alright. To reveal or hide myself. That unlocks when I hit 21, I should imagine. I know, I'm also... I'm thinking, is this... Got some kind of beat sync? At all? I felt like when I was picking those uh, collectibles up, it was... Synced, maybe? Nah, it's not. It's definitely like a kick, but yeah, this music. Oh no! <laughs> okay, yeah. take it. I need to jump. Loving their art style. Amazing! <laughs> so well done! <laughs> okay. Oops. No, no, get away. Ah. <laughs> ah, I, I want him to slide a bit. No, 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 no. So good. I haven't played this yet. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's amazing already. I keep forgetting to press square and then X. There we go. Finally does it. something, wasn't it? Oh, it's five left, it's telling me, is it? Is it? Must be something below, then. Nope. Nope. Ah, you little sneaks. I see is Yeah, so tap you can jump at the end but you can't jump when you're hidden like this. So it's a really he's got a really cool mechanic of that makes you slide on the sliding pads but you can't jump. So you need to switch between both modes. Two more, two more, two more, two more. Where can two more be? Ah, uh, 
so good. Those like reflections and that that he's done. Hello. I see ya. Break the top ten, though. That's really good. Really good. Have I played Brosery Store? I I haven't played it, but I've seen it. I've seen it quite a bit. Yeah, they showed it on the MM stream, uh, and I saw uh, Keld playing it as well. Which one? Hey, Jammo. Whiny cat that you are. Right. Uh, I think I'm going to go... Because I've got to take dogs out for their... Uh, I can't even say the word because I'll get funny. But I'll take the dogs out um, and then I'll be doing some gearman. Gearman with my partner. Don't know what yet. But I should be back on Dreams. If not tomorrow, then I'll be back during the week and actually um, start making some music properly. So, thanks for watching. Tap, thank you very much for the tips. Most appreciated. Um, oh, you're streaming at round three. I'll try and come on as, a, like, I'd spend a lot of time gaming, so I don't get to catch streams live a lot, but I do watch uh, streams back. If not, if I don't watch all of it, you'll forgive me for, for, you know, not wanting to stick around for hours and hours and hours because I don't expect anyone to for me I'm surprised you've made it this long if I'm honest tap uh, so I, I, like I say I appreciate the tips I appreciate the, um, the support and uh, hopefully I shall catch you guys later on so have fun and sweet dreams and take care